Now, how do you build a £50 million school for half that price? An academy in Dorset thinks it's found a way. In fact, those in charge of Aldridge Community Academy on Portland are urging other schools to consider following their lead. Our Dorset reporter Simon Clemerson has been to take a look at the building work now getting underway. Here's a sound you might not have been expecting, because plans to rebuild schools have changed over the last few years. But the diggers haven't fallen silent. £24 million is being spent creating a new campus for the Isle of Portland Aldridge Community Academy, or IPACA. But it's thought the end result will be worth double that, more like £50 million. Why? Well, because much of the construction work has already been done in the early 50s, and from Portland Stone. Once part of the MOD estate, Maritime House is being transformed. The inside ripped out and replaced. The education budget hasn't been hit in the same way as other government departments, but the pressure to make the money available go further has been on. There is a debate about how important surroundings at a school are, but some experts say that while the teaching is crucial, so too are the classrooms. So is this a way of getting more bang? for your buck. Even where there are doors but no walls, this feels like a school. It looks like a school. The corridors, the flooring, but a traditional layout is not necessarily all that helpful. This is a space that we would normally use as a classroom space, but that's not the approach to learning that we want at IPACA. What we're trying to do here is to develop a new way of learning and teaching, and that learning and teaching needs us to open up spaces in such a way and redesign them. But this was never designed, was it, for sort of computers and internet? And uh, Is it efficient enough? People might say, look, actually, you'd be better off with a new build. If the shell's good enough, if actually the, the heating and the ventilation, all those things are sustainable, then we believe if people understand the learning they want to create, we can redesign a building and get better value out of it. Hundreds of schools were left disappointed when the coalition scrapped Labour's plans to rebuild every secondary, unions calling the replacement funding a drop in the ocean. But a refurb is proving a hit here. I would definitely say look at a refurb because you get so much more. You've seen as you walked around today the colossal scale of the building. Had we gone for a total sort of new build, we would have got nowhere near the, the sort of space and the facilities that we're going to get for the same amount of money. In fact, the question might be, what else could you turn into a secondary school? Simon Clemerson, BBC Spotlight, Portland.